Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day five of the June Nico Dairy Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's farm. Okay. Uh, that's weird, right? Isn't it? Um, this is literally like yesterday's farm, but now we have to do the count instead. Um, in theory, there are optimizations that you can do to make it slightly faster. But I, I think given that 9 Factorio, right? Um, what is 9 Factorio? 9 Factorio is like 36, yeah, 362,000. So I'm not going to worry that much about optimization. Um, there are, um, yeah, I don't think there's much. I don't know. I'm going to do the lazy thing today, actually, to be honest. Um, and <clears throat> I do go over how this code worked from yesterday. So definitely check out that video if you're here. Um, I don't think I'm going to spend that much time on this one today. Uh, just because I, I don't know. I would like something more particular. Um, hmm, that's a little bit sad though. But one thing that you can do, and I'm just going to copy and paste a little bit because, to be honest, is it's, I don't know why they did it this way. Oh, silly Lico. Um, but yeah, but here, all we have to do is just do, 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 do. right. And that's pretty much it, I believe. Uh, there are more optimizations that you can have fun with, but, but I, I don't know. Oops. And again, we can, there's only nine, so we can just try, test all nine. Uh, oh, I forgot to run the code, so it's going to be wrong. Whoops. Click on subscribe action. Uh, oh, I, I don't even need the board, right? Yeah, I don't even need the board. In fact, I got rid of it anyway, so I would have... Mm, oh, I forgot to type, finish typing it, but then I got a... I was looking at the other thing. Uh, yeah, I mean... Uh, oh. Hmm, that's weird. Oh, I, I guess I changed it in the last yesterday's. But yeah, I mean, obviously, you're seeing me like just being really lazy and kind of going through it. But yeah, uh, anyway, also the only 252 cases. I, I think I missed it yesterday. But knowing that, of course, in the future, you would just have a cache, right? Or like you would have a uh, uh, an array of nine numbers and then just return it. So you don't even need to do that. That's an optimization that comes into place from time to time. Though I think less rare or more rare these days with respect to, um, you know, because depending on how they do it, but uh, in terms of the number of problems I see. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. I don't really have much else to add for this one other than that for yesterday, I suppose. Um, I think I forgot to talk about the interview, uh, which is that these things do, or they used to come up a lot. Um, so definitely study around it. I would say... <clears throat> Uh, yeah, I mean, I think this is just standard recursion stuff. So, yeah, uh, that said, I think in general, you know, you're probably not going to get something there. Maybe I'm wrong about that one, depending on the company. But, but, but just the idea of kind of thinking about states, how to kind of do the backtracking, how, how to make a change and then reverting that change and making sure that you have places in a good thing, then, uh, yeah. And then the other question is, well, can you, can you... Um, can you DP this, right? And the answer is actually, I, I wasn't thinking about it yesterday, but the answer is technically maybe yes. Um, I mean, for, for nine items, it's not going to matter, but, um, and it may be too expensive anyway for any real numbers, but for columns used, for example, you, well, first of all, the way that I would think about it, if you want to think about whether things can be uh, DP'd, well, well, it's going to be 0 to 9 inclusive, so that's 10 numbers. Columns used will be, I mean, I, I used to set, but you can think about it as a binary um, uh, binary bit thing, or just like a, a, a an array of tr uh, Boolean values, right? True, false values. So that's going to be 2 to the 9. Uh, diagonal is going to have the same logic, except for, I guess there are more, more diagonals, right? Because for, for 9 thing uh, uh what were my eyes i gotta stop doing that but i think they're about two to the two times 
nine diagonals, so it's gonna be about two to the 18, give or take. I mean, I, I think that's like two to 17, maybe even you wanna be more specific. Um, but yeah, so so then now I look at these states when I go, okay, uh, these are the number of states and the number of states, of course, is just this times this times this times this, which you can see very quickly that this is not doable. So those are the things that I would think about in terms of dynamic programming. Uh, of course, this one, uh, you know, you do the math and it's nine factorial and it should be okay, but you know, but that's only for this input, right? So that, I think that's one thing I would say as well. Uh, meaning that let's say we don't keep track of diagonal, right? Then now we can, let's say we get rid of these parameters. Well, now uh, the reason why we had these parameters is that we can, um, you know, that we, we optimize this part so that we can answer these two queries in constant time. But if you want to convert them back to, li uh, you know, linear in the size of n, then, well, in that case, then now you're caching it one way forward. Your states are fewer, but each state will do more work, right? So then now in that case, let's say we don't have the diagonals. Well, number of states is, uh, what was it, 10 times 2 to the 9. And each state now does uh, n times maybe n work, say. So 10 times 10 work. Um, I got this number because this is 10 for each column. And then maybe another, you know, another loop to see if there are any diagonal um, conflicts. So then in that case, you do the math and it's like, okay, okay, maybe this is DPable. But you have to think about the states that you care about. Um, yeah, I think that's what I'm going to say about this one for today. Um, I know that there's a little bit, uh, maybe I'm going a little bit fast as well, and this is a bit to absorb. Um, so one thing that I would maybe urge you to do if you're doing at home, and I'm lazy today, so, uh, or maybe I just want to, you know, for, for those of you who wants to, you know, challenge yourself after you did yesterday's, think about or implement this using DP. I mean, I already kind of gave you a little bit of hints. Maybe I should have paused a little bit first for the spoiler, but, but yeah, so that's pretty much what I have. Uh, let me know what you think. The contest for me, the weekly contest, is in about an hour and a half. So good luck to Yao and good luck to me, please. Uh, yeah, that's all I have. Uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Remember, Discord is free, so come join and post your code and, you know, just uh, do stuff together. Anyway, stay good, stay healthy, take your mental health. I'll see you later and take care. Bye-bye.